Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 200 squared minus 199 squared. And to solve this problem, I actually have three different methods. So make sure to stick for all three of the methods to find out which one is the best one for you. So for method number one, what I'm going to do is rewrite 200 squared as 199 plus 1 squared. So now I have 199 plus 1 squared minus 199 squared. And if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now this means that 199 plus one squared, this should equal 199 squared plus two times 199 times one plus one squared. And this is equal to 199 squared plus 398 plus 1, which is equal to 199 squared plus 399. So, this means that 200 squared minus 199 squared is equal to, well, this right here is 200 squared. So 199 squared plus 139, and now I have this minus 199 squared. So 199 squared and negative 199 squared, these two cancel out, and all I'm left with is 139. Or sorry, this is actually 399. So then these two cancel out, and I'm left with 399. So this is my answer. Now for method number two, my problem was 200 squared minus 199 squared. And now for this method, what I'm gonna do is rewrite 199 squared as 200 minus one squared. So in our first method, we wrote, we wrote 200 squared as 199 plus one squared. This time we're gonna rewrite 199 squared as 200 minus one squared. So now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus two ab plus b squared. So 200 minus one squared is equal to 200 squared minus 2 times 200 times 1 plus 1 squared. And now this is equal to 200 squared minus 400 plus 1, which is equal to 200 squared minus 399. So this is the value of 199 squared. So 200 squared minus 199 squared is gonna equal 200 squared minus 200 squared minus 399, which is equal to 200 squared minus 200 squared plus 399. So then these two cancel out, and then this is equal to 399. So that is my second method. And now finally for method number three, I have 200 squared minus 199 squared. 
And I know from methods one and two, what I did was I rewrote either one of these, but now I'm simply gonna just use a property that says a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And I'm gonna use this property on here. So this means that I get 200 plus 199 times 200 minus 199. 200 plus 199 is 399, and 200 minus 199 is simply one. So I get 399 times one, which is just 399. And as you can see, this is, properly, is probably the most efficient out of the three methods because I've solved it the fastest. So whenever you see something in the form a number squared minus another number squared, always use this property because it's really helpful to solving your problem fast. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have nine to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have three to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30 and how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have nine plus nine plus nine to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten nine to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10 and this was gone from adding the bases but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination the right answer, we're gonna see how they got this. So, we first start with nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I'm gonna factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one, which is equal to nine to the power of 10 times three. And now this is equal to three squared to the power of 10 times three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of 10 is gonna equal three to the power of 20. And I have this times three to the power of one. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to three to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe leave a like and share this to any of your friends or family members.